Hey love bugs, it's Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time um, stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs, my growing extended uh, beautiful family. You know, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please, you know, drop a line on love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me and if you feel like the videos just give you a good uh good uplift please you know uh go ahead and share it'd be greatly appreciated and the video i'm doing right now is called twin flame 101 hey oka's 1044 is being suited up to be put in place checkmate and as soon as i said that they're gonna chills woo! okay chills 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 so i was like I, I did the other one they were talking about with uh warriors um uh, arise and ascension but then it was just like you know i'm like do y'all want you know what I'm saying? asking for spiritual gratification you know notification gratification but like hey do y'all want me and then that's when chills came up so i'm like okay um all of us are uh you know we're all put in place you know there's there's different war warriors for different levels different devils you know all those different things but you'll start seeing how uh, you know you're you're extra sensitive towards things and you know if you have been going through the intense shadow work you you notice that when you start clearing a lot of things that is no longer needed in your life you'll start getting a lot of um, intense you know uh, insight about different things that's happening in the world not just around you but within the world within a whole and then it's just like you see different things that start to be spotlighted you know a lot with money a lot about religion you know especially you know catechism and all, all, all that uh, uh, you know all that stuff and getting into disrespect about that but you know it is what it is you know and different things that's been you know been done in the dark now is starting to be reflected in the light and you'll start seeing it and it's just like when I start getting these different visions about, you know, all the things that are taking place, you know, it's just like it is like the evil and darkness really wants things to be they, they don't want change in, in life. And that's where, you know, we have our issues that, you know, we're, we're fighting against the old part of ourselves. You know, a lot of times we feel like we're in war with the world, you know, and we're supposed to be changing the world. But we are a part of the world in some kind of way. But we're making a new one. And for everything that's being revealed, like we feel something is coming. Something big is about to take place. And we don't realize it's within ourselves. You know, you're, you're becoming one with yourself you're seeing your power you know what your weaknesses are you know the things that make you tick you know the things that make you you know um in that low vibe you know the different things that'll make you happy and for these these things to take place universe is placing us in solitude for you to really understand you and different vibrations this is why universe is getting serious with it you could have been that type of person where you can be in depression and you just like it is what it is. I'm not moving. I'm going to be stuck like this. this is how my life is going to be. This is going to be this and this and that. God like, oh, okay. You, ain't, you, you still ain't moving. You still going to be on that couch or you still in the same pajamas you had on for the last two weeks. You know, you, you know, you start to collect things and things start to smell. You know, you, you still ain't moving yet. No. Okay. And then, you know, heat start pulling up in, in, into your surroundings where things are getting unbearable. You know, because it's like you're already moving and don't even realize you're already moving. And sometimes, you know, you can be in this this thing where you're stubborn, you know, but universe likes the fact that you're stubborn because it's like it gets to that point where push come to shove. You won't be, you, you, you know, because they always like you want to move on your own because if universe makes you move, it, it's not going to be pleasant. You know, it's not going to be pleasant. They already know things get hard. But when it gets to that point where you keep ignoring what they keep telling you to do, it's just like if they tell, keep on telling you, heal, 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 heal. And you are ignoring that or you you trying to, you know, be dirty and play dirty, you know, dirty things, it's going to get bad. And this is where all this stuff is coming from, where, you know, you, you can feel it just by the different things you choose to read about. You know, your different activities. You might be getting a snippet of something. Like when I see it, it it's like even when I start looking at the different, um, like when I find the thumbnails, you know, the pictures that I use for my videos on how it matches up. And I start getting like little flashes and I'm like, oh Lord, you know, something's popping off. You know, we feel it just because it, it's just like even 
with natural disasters, God is going through a reset on many things. You know, all these fires, these earthquakes, things are coming down. You know, genocide. All these different things is popping off. Where it could be the devil that starts it off with it. And then God ends up, you know, taking something in his place. Because a lot of times you'll, you'll see where it has devil written all over it. And then there's some kind of way that God will bring some kind of love and peace throughout the situation that you don't create it. You know, or you don't wreak havoc of hell for it. You know, and all these different things that are taking place, they're really wanting us to see. And these are the things that are, that are going on where, you know, we're getting suited up for this. You know, if you're a part of the 1044, you'll start seeing different things that are, you know, uh, taking place um, in, in this throne. You know, um, let me go ahead and pause this because they're telling me to pull up. Okay, y'all, sorry about that. They want me to pull stuff up. It's just like, you know, it's, it's like the end of times. You know, something has to end for it to begin. You know, the Mayans, the Incas, you know, because it's like when I see it, um, I see the, um, you know, that the, it, I forgot what the name of that, that, that place is, is in Mexico where you see it. Like anybody who ever seen the Dust Till Dawn movie and you see it at the end and you see that, that place, you know, it kind of looks like it's Egyptian, but it's not. But I forgot the name of it though. But I, I know I've used that, that picture in my, in, in a couple of my, um, my thumbnails and you know, Laura gonna kick me for that. But it's just like we're there's a lot of us that are a part of the thousand forty four. There are some that are still here on earth. There's a lot of them that has just recently passed or has passed. You know, if you're you're um strongly into uh the medium where you are a uh conduit of, you know, the spirit realm, you'll know which ones that um well let me let me let me go ahead and retort that. Some of us will know which ones that are are on their they're put, being put in place when it comes to that, that that they're doing. But it's just like the revelation is happening where, you know, a lot of things are, you know, showing. You know, it has to stop. You know, it's just like with the thing when people are like, Wilson, I don't get it. <laughs> you know, it's like because I got so excited when I thought, you know, I was telling it and I said it in a chat. I said, y'all, even about um the, the Gulf of Mexico, when that fire comes, I'm like, come on now. I said this is in the middle of the ocean where this thing is probably about 30,000 feet deep or probably even goes any further. And then, you know, I was saying something about the line, uh, uh, Leviathan. And those are the things that's coming up with like, well, I'm getting it. And I was like, well, let me broaden the perspective to you because I think that's where it was like, um, there, it was like there was supposed to be a sacrifice, a big sacrifice. And that's where the genocide started at. And it, this was like million, millions of years ago. It's like with those, it was a three-headed daggone a serpent, you know. And it, it brought fire through the ocean. And what happened? And it just so happened to be close to the Leviathan Gas gas Corporation in in the Gulf of Mexico. And it was just like uh, Gulf of Mexico in the in the ocean and stuff like that. So these are different things that's happening, but they already know. It's like you already know the government know more than what they're going to say. And I say even tell people just like, how are we going to get so shortage on money? Where? where? Where do they do that at? Make that make sense. How are we shortage on money? There's a lot of places where they don't carry coins because of shortage. You already know there's something that's going on. They, they're just not going, oh, no, we got shortages. I'm like, okay, all right, if you're doing this. But there's different things where they're, they're setting people up. The people that are passing, it, it's just like people are like soul contracts, you know. They have they had to uh, impact people's lives. They had to experience things here on earth. You know, they, they had to experience things with other people. And the next, you know, they, you know, they, they're not a part of us anymore. On the, well, on the physical realm, they're over there in the, uh, you no know, spirit realm. And these are the things that's taking place on that where you're seeing how things are unfolding. It looks scary, but then it's just like we were prepared for this. We already had to know this. And these are the things that had to happen. And you're seeing it through that. You know, because it's like when I was growing up, I was terrified about reading, reading the Revelations. But when you're looking at it, because I know I was guided to make a post about that. I don't know if either I put it today or it was like two days ago where it was like talking about the apocalypse. Is the apocalypse is when veils start being thinned out and you start seeing a lot of different things is taking place and if you see it's like me i love watching tiktok um uh uh, uh compilations where there are certain parts of the world like it could be in ireland somewhere or russia or somewhere you'll hear different things like you'll see 
you know, these beams of light, you know, they even showed it in Mexico and Brazil. You see these beams of light that's out there like, what the hell is going on out there? Or you're hearing like chariot trumpets going off or you're hearing different roars that sound something like um when i'm getting a vision of it well well basically it's like leviathan it's like even certain movies is coming out anybody watch the last godzilla movies with uh uh what, what's that girl name bobby brown millie or whatever her name is and vera, vera farmiga they even had like the leviathan type serpent in the movie and these are the things that's like true, you know, life imitating art imitating life. People think, oh, this is based off fiction. No, it's not. Some kind of truth is landed from somewhere. I get tired of people telling me that, but like, and people is like, why are you still smoking weed? No. But it's just the fact is you get a lot of stuff. <laughs> it's like with me, I just get real intellectual when we start talking. It's like you could be smoking and be like, okay, why if chili is so hype, why do they call it chili? You know what I mean? Like, Damn, I ain't think of this like that way, but it was just like different stuff like that. It's like if chili is a soup that's supposed to be hot, why they name it chili? I'm like, I don't know. You better ask the folks that name it chili. But it's just different things is coming up where you know some you know, it's the end of days. You know, it's like with my grandparents and great grandparents, you always hear them, we living in our last day and you be scared as I don't know, what, especially if you're a little kid, it's today our last day. Is <laughs> it my last day, grandma? You know, and stuff like that. But we're living in the end of days. And it's just like, you know, time is coming about a change where, you know, it, it's just different stuff that's going on. I even hear that Sam, yeah, Sam Cook song, time is coming about a change, like, oh, Lord. Or, you know, it's, it's like the wait is over or something like that. Because it's like even when you're going through your healing process, there'll be certain songs that'll come up. Like today, I was listening on uh, Fly Like an Eagle by um, the uh, Steve Miller Band. Or I like the song by um, Seal called Rose, you know, uh, Kiss from a Rose. And I love that song. I used to get real emotional when I used to hear stuff like that. And it's like all these different things are going on where they're starting to reveal a lot of things. It's like before you can have a lot of currency. You know, you can be that person who's a billionaire, trillionaire, or whatever. And you're you doing all these different things where how much can I pay you to make this go away? You know, and that's how you've been able to get through with things. And people got comfortable with that. And they see you know stuff start coming out. But then when it's, it comes to this point where you, even you're seeing it, when it comes to certain people, you are liability. You are loose sin. Next thing you know, you come up, you know, you know, it's just like one of those different things. But all these changes are taking place where you're starting to see it unfold. You're starting to see how life can really truly be if you allow it to be that way. And it's just like we were always... Uh, told to fear revelations you know it's like when I was growing up you couldn't really read that but then it was just like the more I started reading it was just anything that had something to do with God's sacrifice I couldn't watch it because it was very traumatic and it was just like when I started going through my spiritual warfare all of a sudden all you know I started seeing where my scars and stuff coming from you know I even show people I got my crucifixion of a, a birthmark was there because it was around that time I was crucified at one time you know I remember I, I remember it was one time um, I was trying to light a cigarette one day and I was putting butane in one of my lighters I had one of these Steve Hardy lighters that was like very big it was beautiful too and I was so mad because my ex threw it away could have got paid because that mess exploded and next you know my hands caught on fire and when it did I had a flash of when I was you know exiled you know and I was sacrificed for things that I shouldn't have known that my gifts I got tortured for so there's different times where I tell people even your birthmarks is some kind of way where you have trans you know you have transitioned where you'll start is certain things that you have like a serious accident on and you get a flash of something else. This is how you passed away. And the more you clear it, you, your thinning veils, you'll start seeing different times where I used to joke. And I'm like, man, I don't like getting on boats. I, I just don't. And I always used to tell my friends, I think I died on the Titanic one time. Because there'll be certain things I would know there's no way of me possibly knowing. But then you have to understand you're a recycled soul. So there's different times where you remember, you know, with me, I remember my life before this. I used to tell my mom, my adopted mom, I'm like, I was a twin, you know, and she was like, no, you're not. I'm like, I'm telling you, I got birth certificate. I'm t I said, I'm telling you. And I was like, no disrespect to my mom. But I knew I was a twin with my father. 
because there'll be different family members that I've talked to. There was people were like, how did you know that? And it was just like I had dreams about it. I still have dreams about it. I used to have it, it used to traumatize me because I used to wake up screaming all the time because I told my mom I was you know my my dad was begging me not to leave, and I remember those days. And I mean, it's just like. The more I start, those veils start thinning, the more times I start remembering my life in different eras, different years, different, you know, centuries at times where I'm, I'm just like, you can smell it, you can, different things you can taste, you know, how, how you used to talk, like you even, there's sometimes you may have like flashbacks or even dreams of you talking in a native tongue that you may not know now. Or there's different people I connect with strongly when I do one-on-one -on -one -on with them. I say you used to love, you know, you're a philosopher. You like, you know, you, you have a fascination with Egypt. There's a lot of us this, that does. I have a whole lot of different things that, I, you know, I've known people that was from Cairo. And they would always bring me different gifts back. And I would love it. I'd be so emotional because they brought me stuff back. And it would remind me of certain things that I, you know, there's no way of me knowing. I even, you know, knew people that was from there. And it was, you know, and I was telling them, oh, you, you know, me and you, you used to do this and this and this and I'm like oh my god I remember that but I didn't know it was me that was doing it it was just like you're you're watching a movie and you're seeing different things but you don't realize that was you at that time so there's so many different things where the veils are very thin right now and it's being revealing of those things so when it comes to apocalypse and um the revelations it's like it, it was meant for us to fear those things because it, it underlines a truth that we're not supposed to be ready to find. You know, anything that underlines the truth, they want us to fear that. Because it's just the fact is when you can change and alternate, al um, alternate your own reality. But you're noticing, like I was saying before, like the movie The One with Jet Li. And it's the other lady who played in Crouching Tiger's Hidden Dragon. There's a new movie where she's trying to understand how she able to do certain things. How she able to fight this kind of way. She thought she was going crazy. But it was like her and her alternate realities. This is how you were. You know, this is you, but it's in different form. These are the things that's starting to come out. And it was like right before I started doing this video. It started showing me like Devil's Advocate. Um... The movie Seven with Demi Moore in it, you know, when it's like you know breaking the seals and stuff like that. The movie uh, Legion, um, the other movie with uh, Christopher Walken, um, the prophecies. These are the different things that they've been warning us throughout the years. This is how it is, you know. A lot of people thought, even uh, Constantine, you know, you're going through different things like that. You can look at it like if you if you're a cat, and uh, you know it depends on certain cats you can do that with because you know you look at a cat dead in his eyes like that they're going to feel like you oh you trying to uh, one up me and they might fight you but it's like with my female cat because me and her she's like my kindred spirit, spirit kindred spirit I can look towards her and I can thin that veil in between there and I can look through her to find different things that I didn't know was possible and you can find those out through that and they're like why is, is a cat you have to understand it's a kindred spirit you know, especially if you're from Egypt, there it, it was just like um, uh, there's uh, I he I keep hearing Himotet and um, as well as uh, Basset. I'm, I'm a strong connection with Basset, and I love different things like that because I noticed like even when I start, you know, thinning a lot of things and I'm allowing myself to move forth within my ability of being my spirit whatever I noticed that a lot of cats start coming towards me and you know my baby daddy didn't call me just like you're the cat lady you know and they're always doing that or there'll be certain cats I can walk through the neighborhood and they come up to me and they'll be talking and I'll know what they're saying I'm like girl I'll say yeah I speak Cantonese you know and they're like what do you call it Cantonese but it's different things where it's showing you what your next steps are that's being suited if you are a thousand forty four you're gonna know because it's just like different stages you're going in and that mess feels like I know this is not real. I know because it, it don't feel real when you're doing it. And there's different things that are, are unveiling to you that may feel supernatural at sometimes. Like, man, they ain't telling nobody this. They may think I'm crazy, you know, in certain things. So it's just like, you know, different situations that um, I'll, I'll hear revealing that connects strongly with me. And I'll hear it. Like, people are like, oh, no, that, that's not true. That's not possible and stuff like that. And I'm like, uh, yeah, it is. But I'm going to keep that, you know, quiet as kept. I'm going to leave it as quiet as it's kept. But I've seen different things that people don't feel as possible. And if people have been around me physically, they've seen that, you know, they'll keep that on the hush. Like, man, Roz, I ain't telling nobody that. But y'all remember when you did that, you know. 
And so different things are taking place where you will know if you're strongly connected to the 1044. And what's scary about it, even your enemies will know they were probably that one that wants to keep you docile from being a around of just knowing you were a part of the 1044. So these different things are coming up to where checkmate because I know when I was going through you know, when I had that vision and I snapped out of it next to, you know, I was looking at a wallpaper I have on my, um, my Google Comcast next to, you know, I see these glass, uh, chests. Yeah, it's chests. And it was like the king one was hitting the other one. I'm like, oh my God, checkmate, king me. And I was like, oh, snap. So then that's showing me. It, it's like, it's, it's coming under play and you're seeing it. You know, the different things that's coming on with the natural disasters is hitting like left, right, left, right, left, right. With these tornadoes, these hurricanes are hitting real hard. The, these, um, uh, even our earthquakes are kicking it. And it's just like, it's all a part of the stages of what is being revealed in Revelations. They always tell you, you know, when, when blood and river come one and one, you, I mean, if anybody go look in the Re Revelations and you start seeing stuff, it will start pinpointing different things that are happen within the last few years. Down took place because it, it, it's countdown. You know, the countdown is coming because right when I'm talking about this, I see a countdown. You know, and then it's like a uh, when they say, you know, those files that when it shows different calendar dates. And I'm seeing them being ripped off and stuff. So those are the things that are taking place. So if you're a part of the 1044 or you have even been intrigued about that, most likely you are a part of that. Um, there's different links. Like if you want to find out about these because this is like the fourth or fifth video I've done in the last five or six years that I've done and I think the last one I did was probably about a year year and a half ago and it was guided for me to do it again because I know one of my my, my uh, soul brothers Alex he asked me he was like Roz what is 1044 and I'm like oh boy because when he asked it, it already felt like he was strongly connected to that so it was guiding me to tell him that and I was like dad I didn't realize I did that many videos about 1044 and it was already bring, you know, coming out because I slipped up and said something about it the other day well I didn't slip up because it was an accident it was on purpose <laughs> so obviously I was meant to say that but those are the things that's taking place so if you may be you know um, something that's been uh, guarding, um, guiding you and guarding you from that um, is probably allowing you to know that you're strongly a part of that that you know that that section of uh, the spiritual uh, warfare of uh, you know legions and stuff that's taking place so um, you know hey congrats if you find out you're a part of that you know it, it's I mean a it, it's a lot of them that's getting you know posted up right now so it's saying check make king me so I'm like okay okay let's get it happen captain so if you are able to resonate with the content of this video y'all you know I, I do appreciate it uh, even if not, you know, hey, I appreciate you even taking the time to watch it anyway. But, um, like I said, I leave my contact information in the description box below as always. You know, um, it's all about uh, spiritual uh, networking, you know, being able to give you that, that insight from the path of purpose on a deeper level. You know, broaden your um, perspective about, you know, what's taking place into your life. You know, that's a part of my purpose. You know, I'm just glad to be able to help other people and be a part of that, of their path of purpose as well. You know, just being able to give them a deeper understanding, you know, um, a lot of people just let me know, you know, Rosalind, I went through this as a child or these are the things that I'm going through now. And, you know, I help out the best way I possibly can. So, you know, I always tell people, hey, just hit me up, you know, and I will take it from there and, you know, find out what, what's going on with you and, you know, and just try to be able to give you, you know, that perspective of what is taking place where you really need to know. Um, and um, I leave my my link to my podcast as well. And if you ever feel generous enough to drop a donation, the Cash App is there as well as also. So if you are working on manifesting something into your fruition on your, your you know, your uh, physical uh, path, you know, hey, keep going. Even if it feels like it's far away, you never really know what's going on. Because it's like when I say that all the time, I see a lot of different people and I'm seeing 222, 444. You know, you really, you know, it's telling you have faith. You know, 444, you don't know what's going on behind the scenes. And a lot of people are seeing fives. And that means it's a spiritual change that's taking place and a lot of different things. Things are unfolding for you for the better so you know keep going you never know you, you could be so close you know the enemy wants you to give up today because the blessing may open doors for you tomorrow so you keep going be persistent and consistent about everything that's taking place in your life you never really know how deep it's going to go and never know what kind of door is going to you know open for you it's going you know going to be a jaw dropper so um stay 
consistent be persistent and um even through social distancing make sure you give out love like positivity word for us frequencies you never know all those things really take my a long way and just for you being able to be generous enough to help others is going to take you even further and i hope you have a blessed week i know this is sunday where i'm doing this but i don't know if this is gonna uh <laughs> you know take off because i think this is like my seventh or eighth video i did so it'll probably come out monday or tuesday so even wherever it comes out is i hope you have a blessed safe prosperous week and please be safe in everything you do and just giving you that um you know that that vibe of uh calm calming comfort healing whatever you're needing on your vibes i'm you know i'm sending it towards your way much love to you peace